Mm. Hi everyone, uh, this is Pink Queen 54 coming to you from my favorite Thank restaurant so on Labor Day. Thank you. My husband asked if what I wanted to do for Labor Day and I told him I wanted to go to our favorite restaurant. So that's where I am right now. By the time you see this video, Labor Day will be over. So I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful Labor Day. And um, I just wanted to come in with part three of I Will Not Shut Up. Now, after I um, was so concerned about not being able to get up to uh, not testifying, really, because I was allowing what someone said to me to stop me from doing what I normally do and being who I am. And I thought about it all week, and I decided that I needed to go back to the scene of the crime, as I call it, and make things right. So that's what I did. So uh, it bothered me all week long, and um, come Sunday morning, I got up, I got dressed, and I went to the church that I was before, so I could make things right again within me. It wasn't about anybody else, it was about me. So uh, we had a wonderful service, we had communion, and when it came time for um, people to get up and say whatever they needed to say, I got up and I told them about what had happened to me, about how someone had told me that um, I talked a little bit too much, and um, what had happened the last time I was there, that I allowed that comment to hold me in my seat. So uh, I felt bad about it, and uh, whenever the, one of the members came up to me and told me that she missed her testimony, it made me feel really, really bad. So I felt that I had to go back. So when I got back and I uh, got the chance to stand up and speak, I explained to them what had happened. And I explained to them about the um, reason why I didn't get up to testify. And that I didn't realize that, you know, people look forward to it. So I got up and I spoke and I told them how I felt about it. And that I was going to allow the, the enemy to do what he had yet done. I had to come back and show him who I was. That I am a child of God and I belong to him. And I will do what he needs me to do not what Satan wants me to do. He wants me to shut up, but I'm not ever going to shut up. Like I said before, unless God shuts me up, I will not be shutting up. So I just wanted to let you know that I did make it right, and I feel so, so much better. And uh, I just finished enjoying a wonderful meal at my favorite restaurant, and I just wanted to remind you, be better to Jay than you were yesterday. Thanks for listening. That's my two cents. The end.